go ahead. Hey, yo, man, what's cracking? It's your boy Z. Get back at it with another video for y'all today. And today, I'm with my boy, Young J. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all looked at the, um, the YouTube channel for a while, you can see he was on my Up To It Rap Showcase. And yep. he killed his, you know, he did his set and he did his thing. So, you know, I wanted to catch up with him, do a little interview. And we can just talk about, like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to set up the... the so, yeah, we're going to set him up. And then we're going to have a quick little interview if you're down for that. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe a little reaction to some Dutch rap if you're yeah, down for that. Down, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to be setting up that. But, you know, that's the people who know who you are. I mean, of course, I said your name's Young J. But what 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 are what is who is Young J? What is Young J? Young J, man. Young J, I'm, I'm a 17-year-old kid from Tucson, Arizona. 17. I, I've been at, I've been at this music stuff now since I was about nine years old. Don't mind the dog. He's chilling. <laughs> but, uh. I, I started writing when I was nine years old. My uncle, he, he's also a rapper, goes by the name of Buddha. Shout out Buddha. Yeah, shout out Buddha. Um, he gave me and my pops' his demo, and I remember when I listened to it and how many times I listened to it. I was on my way to Phoenix Water Park and stuff with the fam, and we listened to it the whole ride there, and I was like, damn, like, I want to do this. I want to be able to create stuff so beautiful like this and be able to express my feelings out and in a way that I never thought I could before. And rap was the way for me to get my emotions out and to let people know who I am. Like, you know, people people know who, who Julian is. That's my name, my name's Julian. People know who he is, but at the same time, people don't really know who Julian is, right. if that makes sense. Yeah, so, I yeah. feel that. But like, I feel like you'd establish your identity as Young J, yeah. you know, and people are knowing Young J now. It's not yeah, Julian, you know, of course, anymore. And it's, you like that type I'm, of change? I love that. Honestly, like, honestly, my inner circle knows the both sides of me. Right. And like you do. Yeah. Um, my brother Augie does. Diggs and Floyd do, obviously, my, my family. Um, but for the people that come to the shows, the people that came last night, I opened up for Blueface last night. Big us, man. Um, big old crowd, like after that, I went out into the crowd and people came up to me like, damn Young Jay, like, let me get a picture, let me get your social media. And a lot of the people that are in here right now um, were those people that hit me up. And that it's really cool to be like, to be in that situation where like, damn, people are noticing you, oh, yeah. your music's actually good, That's you know? Good. So let's talk about that journey, man. I mean, you didn't just start. You didn't just start. Obviously, I mean, you didn't just open up for Blueface yesterday and started <laughs> popping. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's been a work in progress. So let's talk talk about your journey and how you started yeah. to become who you are today. Back in sixth grade is when I started getting my social media and stuff. So I started out with Instagram. Um, my my parents, man, they were really strict about that back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, nah, Instagram, nah. Keep it private. Like, Keep it private. <laughs> People don't even know your life and all right. that. Well, I'm like, please, like, there's a good way for me to get my music out, for more people to follow me, to know who I am. And I started doing 15-second freestyles on Instagram uh, back when it was 15 seconds. And then about a couple months later, I got Snapchat where there were only 10-second videos. So I was popping up on there doing freestyles all the time and after that I just I started writing more I gained more followers I I, um, I got more connections which led me to be able to work into a studio and obviously with the support of my pops and my uncle who know people with studios as well um, they helped me grow my fan base and uh, without all the y'all and without the fam my fan base would not grow exactly so we can talk about um, just how like you talk about your pops and how he supported you, but we're talking about right now yeah, how kind of yeah, yeah. it wasn't always like that. Yeah. You know, it took it took a moment for him to yeah. be like, okay, he's taking this serious. So talk yeah. about that as well. So my, my pops, when I was younger, when I first started telling everybody that I wanted to do this, everybody being my family, um, they took it as a hobby, right? I started I started music when I was eight years old, technically. My my uh, my grandma got me a guitar for my eighth birthday, and I picked up the guitar. And the year after that, I got into rap, and they were they were cool. They were like, yeah, it's a cool hobby for him. It's a cool way for him to make new friends and all that stuff. And then I really started getting serious, and I started writing raps. And Christmas break of 2018. Since then, everything with music just escalated. And my pops was like, was like, damn, like it's, it's happening. But at the same time, my pops gave me a talk on. You gotta watch out for this, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah. My pops has had some doubts, my pops has had some fears about it. 
because like he knows how how well it's going yeah. and he just doesn't want me to get you know screwed over and obviously as a parent they worry about that so my pops now is he's basically he's letting me spread my wings which is uh, which i'm grateful for that's dope and he's always going to be right there to be my backbone if, if i ever fall he's always going to be right there so right. that's that's kind of where i'm at with them right now that's what's up yeah. so we talk about the lack of support from family but how about from like people on the outside like oh man. people that thought you were homies and they're like yeah we'll support you you dropped the first single like Nobody's doing I shit. I really don't. Have, I don't. I don't. I don't mess with a lot of people. Mm. I I have a very small circle that contains probably about six people, like, and include that's including Zion. Right. So, um, so good for the people. You know what I'm yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so n- you never really had that effect on you. Oh, man. I didn't yeah, you're getting there. But um, there's homies at school. There's homies around other schools that I know that support me and that they they shout me out they get my stuff out there and uh and it all goes back to z gibbs he's one of those people that that started promoting me that started like hyping me up and stuff hyping about me and and it's crazy how how z gibbs turned into fam yeah. Within almost a year. Yeah, you know, know dope, man. So Just watching this guy's journey, man. He's not. He's not taking no games, man. He's. It's a business. He's professional about his business, yes, and sir. he knows how to come correct with it. Yes, sir. And that's one of the things I think young uh, artists need to know is yeah. professionalism. Because in the industry, you got to be professional. You know. Yeah, what I mean? exactly. I mean, it's good to be all turnt and lit, but like we talked about yeah. in there, time yeah. and place. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's I think you have place. a good balance for time and place. Yeah. So I mean, we could talk about. Some influences, like how did you get? I mean, you talked about Buddha. Buddha, shout out Buddha, man. Shout I gotta Buddha. get him. He gotta come on an interview uh, with me, Buddha. You, come on, man. You been ghost to him. I know, been ghosting me for a little <laughs> bit, but it's all good. I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, we <laughs> love you. We love you. Too. Yeah, we love, we you. love you. We love you, Buddha. Yeah. So anyway, so you talked about Buddha. What other influences have been in, like, to start your rap yeah. career? You know Honestly, I mean? man, when I when I heard um, Section Eighty okay. from Kendrick Lamar. Yep. And then. The the J Cole mixtapes, yep. the J. Young Cole. Sinatra mixtapes. You know, cool. um, I I started noticing a difference between that versus a lot of the trap stuff that was coming out. Right. You know, and J Cole, J Cole, maybe one day you'll watch this. I hope you do. I hope you do too. Uh, you are my <laughs> number one like favorite artist of all time, and you're the goat. I don't care what anybody says. J Cole's the goat. He is nice. like. Like aside, yeah, aside from my uncle, he is like the biggest inf- inspiration to me because he gives a message, people listen to the message. Like, I went to go see him at the Four Your Eyes Only tour and I started crying. I'm not gonna lie, I started crying. Like, oh, yeah. And that, that's kind of my goal. I want to be able to write music with a message and not, oh, I'm popping Zans, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm snorting lines and, and all that stuff. With and like all the hype stuff, <laughs> come on, come over here, boy. Is that recording? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, cool. um, That's Cody, everybody. Yeah, I'm sorry. And um, but yeah, I'm just all I want to do is spread realness. Uh, I I uh, I prefer to call myself a lyricist more than a rapper, just because I focus on the lyrics, like J Cole. Oh yeah. So, Shout out J. Cole. So that's dope. So J. Cole's a big ins- inspiration. Uh, on the EP you dropped this uh, January, uh, what what was the name of the EP? Uh, chapter One. Chapter One, which is a dope EP. Y'all go check it out. Uh, you have an intro to X, X intro. So oh, yeah. Did X play a big factor in yeah. the EP and just how you yeah, are he, as a person? So I am just coming out of this dark place that I was in months back. And when X dropped... 17 I just it helped me and when he dropped his recent album it helped me and the one before that like all X did was he helped millions of kids out there going going through depression that deal with anxiety and me being one of those kids because I I suffer from anxiety and not a lot of people know what it is to go through that and with X I feel like he was a big influencer on how to deal with that right. and how to overcome that and he, he was really big and he stressed on following your dreams and to not let anybody tell you different Yeah. so that that's why I had to dedicate one to X and like X we love you you're watch- watching this from above and yeah right. that's dope as hell man so I mean we talked about um, talked about X talked about some influences 
but your work ethic, man, is just crazy. <laughs> I mean, I never yeah. met a young, young rapper like you that just works and has a team behind him. Aki's behind the camera right now. Yeah. He's he letting me use his camera because mine's acting up. So the quality's yeah. going to look really good because Aki <laughs> know what you're doing. But, you know, then we back to regular programs. I ain't giving, you know what I'm saying? But talk about your work ethic, man, because I think yeah. it's fantastic. So before, like, everything started to pop up, I had a lot of other extracurricular activities. I, I played football my freshman year and all the middle school. Um, I played rugby for a little bit. Um, I'm an athlete. I like to play sports. I like to stay in shape. I like to lift, all that stuff, you know? And I just, my last injury from rugby, I messed up my ankle pretty bad. And I said, you know what? Like I, I took it as a sign that I need to start devoting myself to one thing and one thing only. And that's my music. So. I breathe music, I sleep music, I talk music, I dream music, everything's music. And I'm, I'm hungry for this. I'm hungry, I'm hungry to make it and for everybody to know who Young J and YTE is. And for those who don't know, YTE is my brand, my sort of label, you could say, Young Tuck Entertainment. And um, yeah, all, all my paychecks, all my tips that I make from working, busting tables, all that stuff, man, it goes it goes towards the music oh, yeah. and there's a lot of sacrifices in this game that you had to make like you know how i am with my shoes exactly i like to collect shoes i sold the grip right. of my shoes for for stuff that i needed for the music That's so, dope, huh? yeah. sacrifice man so i mean so uh so any tips for young artists out there that yeah, want to be most definitely, yeah. rappers so go ahead and yeah, break them so down so i'm gonna stress on one topic during this whole tip all right happiness Happiness is key to life. Happiness is key to everything, okay? So if anyone on here wants to become an artist musically, an artist, if you're gonna paint or photography, any, anything you wanna do, you gotta put in the work and you gotta dedicate your life to this. And it's all gonna work out in the end as long as it makes you happy. You can have all the money in the world. You can be a doctor, you can be a surgeon, and you can hate going to work every day. You can hate it. But, oh, the money's good, I guess. But are you happy? And if you're not, then that means you gotta chase your dream and do not let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, I've had so many doubters, I've had so many people tell me that I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I'm not saying I'm famous, but I'm saying that I have a name for myself that could potentially put me into the right direction for my dream to come true. And all of you watching this can do the exact same thing as long as you put the dedication. Oh uh, yeah. Those are gems from Young yeah. J right there, man. Real talk right there. That's all I'm talking about. with the mindset of a 40-year-old. This yeah. man, <laughs> God. So we're going to get into reaction. This is a some Dutch rap. You know, he laid down some gems. His description is going to be in the below. So if you're listening on SoundCloud, I mean, go ahead, go to my YouTube. Watch the reaction video if you like. And, you know, that's going to do it for the podcast. But if you're with us on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, we're going to hit you with a Dutch rap reaction. Yep. Today, we're going to be reacting to Freena and Moolah B viral. Uh, Mula B is a is a hitman. Uh, like he's a, he's a big yeah. like drug pin in the Netherlands. And then Frina, he's just a he just he's like the Drake of Netherlands the right Drake now. Of Netherlands. Yeah. Right. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is a new song. Everybody wanted me to react. Like four mil right there. Shh. Views crazy. Uh, <laughs> like, you like you like that already? Okay. Hey, the blue suit. Yeah. Kinda look like Tyrese from Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> they look like Tyrese. That's my hot spot. I mean, it kind of goes off. Uh, that's it going kinda, off. It kind of goes off. It's gonna go hard. Man. All right, cool. What's that Barack Obama? I think he's yeah. pretending to be Barack at that. Man, that, that, that's fire. <laughs> I like that cage. A little beast switch right there? Yeah. Okay. It, it gives like Mad Max vibe. Yeah. Like, I don't know what he's saying, but I mean, like, <laughs> that should go. It go. I mean, I bet you if that was in English, you know, like, yeah, that, 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 that would, would go, go hard. That would go. I want to get to Mula Beast part. There's, oh, there we go. That's my boy right there. 
Bola moest raar jongen met de shotgun. Als ik in je hok kom, ben ik dan mijn dotcom. Oké. Okay. Ogen naar Hongkong, zo naar de vacation, pull up zonder tomtom. Broertje moet viraal gaan, als ik ergens heen ga, moet het illegaal gaan. Pull up in de X6, put die M X6, ja die deed X6. Wat de kerst kunnen voelen, wat de man oh. is kunnen samen schieten, kijken weer de hele dood is. Want dan blijf ik zoeken waar die kook is, rijden nog de focus, hebben we een focus. Zijn nog tussen jalas en die rokers, fuck je met die jokers, veel je op die motors. Bad bunny in the middle of the world. I'm at friends, bro. Uh, that shit go. But I will keep playing it, man, because I like it a lot. But, you know, Top Notch is going to go ahead and, yeah. you know, copyright me. And I ain't going to do that today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. But what, what do you think of it? I mean, this is your first time listening to Netherlands rap, right? I, yeah. yeah. Like reacting to it? Reacting least? to it, yeah. That, I watched the videos of Yeah, hell yeah. And, yeah. So what do you think about that, man? It I mean, was, it's pretty, it pretty good. You think it sounds similar to what we listen to now, like here in the States? I mean... It has like a reggaeton vibe too. There you go. Just yeah. because I feel like it's because it's foreign. Yeah. You know, because the foreign, the foreign, this city. I don't know if that's yeah. a word. Hey, we're making um, up words here. It's all good. Words. Um, <laughs> it just gives a reggaeton vibe, like like a Maluma, Bad Bunny. I vibe agree. Type, that's that type vibe, and I, I like it. That's what uh, that's what Truly said on our last yeah, interview. Yeah, so he said like give out some yeah. reggaeton vibe. So that's dope, man. But hey, thank you for joining me on the yeah, interview, course, man, bro. and the reaction. This was hella dope. So man, his good link's gonna be in the description. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. You fuck with Twitter? Oh yeah, I got Twitter. All right, so yeah. you fuck with Twitter. I don't really rock with Twitter, so you guys follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I don't use it. I just, <laughs> I just use it for news. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe, man. Don't forget, and don't forget to remember, if you ain't up to it, you ain't down to it, then what you gonna do with it? All right. Much love, y'all. Yt to infinity. There you go.